tell me something. Are you the jealous type? I certainly am. <laughs> She's my girlfriend, and that burns me up. <laughs> Direct from Hollywood, Plymouth, star of The Forward Look, and the Plymouth Dealers of America present The Betty White Show with Del Moore and Jimmy Boy. And here she is, Betty White. <laughs> I guess that's as good a way as any to tell you that tonight's show is all about the green-eyed monster. Have you ever found yourself being jealous in spite of yourself? Well, Lydia Franklin did. Didn't she, Johnny Jacobs? Oh, she so most certainly did, Betty. Matter of fact, the night that Betty is referring to started out just like any other night. Now, this is the home of Willard and Lydia Franklin. This is Willard. He just discovered that he left some important papers at the office. And this is his wife, Lydia. She's just preparing to sit down to read a magazine. As I said, this started out like any other evening. But just you wait. Uh, I left those stupid papers in that stupid desk in that stupid office again. Why don't you call your stupid secretary? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Don't give me any of that routine about how come you know your secretary's phone number at home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Darling, getting it jealous of a secretary just isn't done anymore. It's corny. Besides, from your description of her, I don't think I have too much to worry about. Poor lumpy little thing. <laughs> Incidentally, if her mother answers the phone, please say something to get me out of it. This woman is the original long playing... Hello, Ruthie. <laughs> Oh, hello, Mrs. Gayson. Uh, Mrs. Gayson, I left some important papers at the office, and I was just wondering if your daughter... Da 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 yeah. Lumbago can be very painful. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no, no, of course, I agree with you that lumbago should be in the back. Yes, I... Say something. <laughs> oh, no, no, I, I had it. Yes, it's all behind me now. I can't think of it. Uh, Willard, the, the parakeet got out of his cage. Oh, <laughs> parakeet's out of the cage. I'm going to have to hang up now. I, you, what? I, <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, Mrs. Gates, and we'll catch the bird. Don't worry about Get it. Get the net. Look what you started. She wants to know what the name of the parakeet is. Quick. Rover. A rover. <laughs> rover? That's a door. <laughs> Tell her we're trying to fool the cat. Uh, we, listen, will you call me to dinner? Uh, dinner's ready. Oh, uh, Mrs. Gayson, why well, just call me to dinner? I've got to run. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Look, I've got to get those papers. I'll get my coat. I've got to go down to the office. Yes. Hello. You must be Mrs. Franklin. I'm Ruthie, Willie's secretary. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Well, then, come on in. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Ruthie, don't tell me you brought the papers. Yes? You did. <laughs> I might have known. My golly, there's a lot more work here than I thought. It's quite a stack. It certainly is. <laughs> No, no, Will. This is the prospectus right here. He gets excited. <laughs> Isn't he cute? That's adorable. No, no, let me do it. Right. You shouldn't mess them up like this. Mr. Franklin, you have no idea how heavy-handed he can get. <laughs> oh? Oh. Guess who called? Jennings? No. Yes. Again? Yes! Jenny. What did old blubber lips have to say this time? Same old routine. <laughs> Who's Jennings? Uh, Jonathan Jennings. Jonathan T. Jennings. Don't forget the T. <laughs> what does the T stand for? Do your imitation of him for Linda. Lydia. Well, uh, what does the T stand for? Well, here, here's Jonathan T. He says, uh, uh, Mr. Franklin, he says, you get that old hound dog out of the office and I'll try to find some, some more of these binders for you. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> she gets such a kick out of that. <laughs> Do Boris Karloff. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Well, no. I Go don't. ahead. Well, all right. <laughs> I'm not really a monster. I'm a sportsman. And wait until the housekeeper finds out there's another body in the laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. You 
uh, you do this often? Oh, all the time. You know how silly he is. <laughs> <laughs> the best imitation he does for me is of a man taking a nap. <laughs> oh, no, look at this. Look at what? Oh, not again. Not what again? Look, for the next time you do all of the typing. Yeah, not what again? That schnook in the front office must have knuckles, just knuckles, that's all. What schnook? We have a schnook in the front office. What schnook? Honey, please, this is business. <laughs> It looks like we have a schnook in the front room. <laughs> Willard, I wasn't trying... It's best to leave him alone when he gets like this. Thank you. <laughs> you know how he is. No, how is he? Look, you girls gossip some other time. Correct that for me, would you, Ruthie? All right, but I better hurry. Oh, remind me to sew another button on that coat when we get to the office. <laughs> Break something, dear? Good idea. Uh. Are you all right, dear? Oh, brother. <laughs> Testing. Will, this light won't go on. Oh. This one just did over here. <laughs> You, you know, it's, it certainly seems funny having you call me anything but Mr. Franklin. <laughs> Naturally, in the office, it's always Mr. Franklin. <laughs> Ruby? You know, it just occurred to me that we might have left her out in the cold a minute ago. After all, Lydia doesn't know blubber lips. <laughs> Honey, he's a salesman. His real name is Jonathan T. Jennings, and he sells uh, those canvas binders for office equipment for the people, and the T stands for Thomas. <laughs> now, there's a bullet. <laughs> Thanks for the light, Linda. Uh, Lydia. Her name is Lydia. You know that, Miss Gateson. Oh, well, I should. He speaks of you often enough. I'm sorry, Lydia. <clears throat> uh, hon, what do you say you and I go out to a movie as soon as she's finished? there. Was, uh, oh, now, look, honey. I don't know what's on your mind. I've gone through everything, and I said, <laughs> oh, honey, she sews buttons on everybody's coach. You know what we call her at the office? Thimble thumbs. <laughs> that thing, <laughs> that wasn't it. Well, I guess that does it. I better hurry home now before Alfred gets there. No swell. Alfred? Oh, Alfred's my fiancé. We're getting married next month. Didn't Willie tell you? No, that's the one thing about you he forgot to tell me. <laughs> you know how he is. Yes. <laughs> well, I better go. Yes, thanks for coming over. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Come on back soon with Alfred. <laughs> Lydia. What? You know Willard's innocent. Don't let him sit there and suffer. <laughs> Mr. Franklin. Come here. Come right here. Right over here. Come on. <coughs> now show me an imitation of a man kissing his wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be right with you here, Johnny Jacob. But did you hear that our movie star friend Laurie Brighton was, is going on location for her latest picture? Oh, yes, I'd heard that, Betty. As a matter of fact, Lori Brighton's newest picture is a saga of the great outdoors. And it's being shot in Nebraska. The movie location in my is miles from any town. And as a result, the cast and crew are billeted at this farmhouse. That's the owner of the farm, Widow Peterson. And that's her son, Sam. Now that is one of her plates. The visitors from Hollywood will be here any minute. Oh, land, there goes another one. Oh, gosh, Ma, you're off ledgy. Well, them movie people be here any minute. This place is a mess. Land, sake, don't tell me that's them. Either that or the rooster's got the croup. <laughs> you take them turnip sacks out of the bedroom? Yep. And chase all the hens out of the house? Yep. Take care of the leak in the roof? Yep. Got a bucket right under it. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> now, these are very important people, son. So mind your manners. We don't want them to think they're with a bunch of hits. <laughs> well, don't worry about me, Ma. Even got my Sunday underwear on. <laughs> me too. <laughs> now, how do you do? 
Smith. I'm Mr. Barnett of Silverstone Studios. Yes. Is everything ready? Oh, yes. Everything's spit and span. Got new curtains up, new linens on the bed. And I got my Sunday underwear on. <laughs> well, bully for you. And Mrs. Peterson, I think it's only fair to tell you that our star is the queen of Hollywood. Oh. Therefore, she's inclined to be a little temperamental. So if uh, she should have... Oh, darling! Oh, <laughs> Well, this is it. I like it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Where's the main building? Yeah. <laughs> you know, no, this is your home for a week. I've arranged everything. I see. <laughs> well, it's rustic, huh? charming, mm -mm. quaint. <laughs> You're fired. <Yeah. laughs> oh, it's only for a few days. May I present Mrs. Peterson? Oh, your highness. <laughs> I think we're going to get along just fine here after all. <laughs> now then, <laughs> you may get up now. I can. <laughs> oh, I'm so thrilled. I do believe I'm your favorite fan. Oh, you can't be. I am. <laughs> What is that? Uh, who is this? Oh, I'm the one they never tell the jokes about. The farmer's son. Uh, <laughs> well, I I'm sure it's not necessary to introduce your guest. We all know her as Hollywood's most lovable star. Uh -huh. Hi, Miss Pickford. <laughs> <laughs> Dear boy, why don't you run out and play in the poison ivy? <laughs> we can't. He's wearing his Sunday underwear. <laughs> Gosh, you sure are pretty. Uh -oh. oh, I'm not really. It's just an illusion caused by natural beauty. <laughs> uh, can I take your coat? Oh, I'll get it. <laughs> hey, Ma, look what they're doing with the gopher skin. <laughs> gopher? Speaking of gopher, I sure could go for a good, cool drink. <laughs> oh, you're cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Frank Barnett, you ought to have a net thrown over yeah, you to think that Laurie Brighton... Laurie, I never... <laughs> what do I smell cooking? Well, there's nothing cooking, ma'am. What is that? Oh, that's me. Got my hair slicked down with turkey fat. <laughs> I think I'm going to be ill. It's funny. Don't you have some chores you can go do? Nope, I'm all finished. Just got through slopping the hog. <laughs> oh, can I use this? Well, <laughs> over the teeth and pass the gum. <laughs> my specialty. Nothing sets a body up like a nice cool drink of turnip juice. <laughs> My room. Oh, right this way. <laughs> Don't be long, Miss Brighton. That's for me. No. <laughs> Sorry, if you want me, just call. The cameraman and I are sharing the bridal suite in the barn. I don't care if you never come back. Jeez. Hey, mister, is, is Miss Brighton there keeping company? Well, why do you ask? Well, I thought maybe she'd like to go along with me tonight on the big hayride. Oh, I'm sure she'd be delighted. Yeah. Why else did she bring along her chinchilla Levi's? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it exciting having a real live movie star in the yeah. house? We haven't had this much excitement around here since we got the short circuit in the milking machine. <laughs> <laughs> and the cow jumped over the moon. <laughs> oh, hello, Ellie. Hi, Mrs. Peterson. <laughs> hello, Sam. Hello. Where is she? Where's Lori Brighton? Oh, she's resting up for our date tonight. Lori Brighton, your date? But you're supposed to take me on that hayride. Please, you're just a child. How could you? Hey, watch it, you're bending my 4-H pen. <laughs> Sam, only yesterday I, I walked into the barn and, and you in the cow. You looked up and you said I was the prettiest thing you'd ever seen. Well, from where I was sitting, you was. <laughs> Daniel Peterson, if you think I'm going to... Miss Brighton, something wrong? <laughs> I've heard of feather beds, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> well, this is Alberta. She's always hiding from the rooster. <laughs> She's trying to the porch. Skip 
Alberta's love life. I've looked all over and I can't find the powder room. Oh, no wonder. You've been looking in the house. Oh, never mind. <laughs> girl. <laughs> What's the matter with her? You know how children are. She's jealous of me and you. Uh, what have we done? I haven't read Luella all week. <laughs> well, I was kind of hoping you'd go along with me tonight on the big hayride. Oh, good heavens, another conquest. <laughs> Some other time, Sonny. Gee, Miss Brighton, you, you gotta go. Why, well, I've read a song about you. Listen. When it's strawberry time on the prairie, I'll be getting rash with you. <laughs> Heck, ain't it? Oh, have you tried penicillin? Come a few bars. <laughs> Forget about me. <laughs> Champagne and turkey fat just don't mix. But, but Miss Brighton, you're beautiful and I'm nuts about you. <laughs> Why, you dear, sweet, adorable Claude. <laughs> Gosh, you mean you're loving me, too? <laughs> what? Well, no one's ever called me a Claude before. Now we can be married and we can move up on the North 40. Married? Just a moment. I... I happen to already be in love with someone. Who is he? Why, Daddy... Glory! There he is now. You met him when I came in tonight. I'm mad about him. Lori, I know you're upset about this, but I've got to talk to you you're about the shooting back. schedule. Well, I've hardly been away. Oh, I darling, don't ever leave me alone again. Yes. <laughs> You've been nipping at that turnip juice? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, no. Are you sure you didn't come back to bring a little joy to a woman who has nothing in the world but, but wealth but, but, and fame and beauty? Uh, 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 Lori, this is Frank. Oh, Frank. Yeah. Frank, I can just picture yeah, the two of us on that hayride. Now, stop that. Put, oh. put that down! Well, I well. can't wait for tonight. Yeah, well, ma'am, well, ma'am, it's a hayride. That stuff burns easy. Oh, I can't fight it anymore. I love you. I'm mad about you. Yes. Just don't understand how he does it without turkey fat. Frank, yes. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> Ellie. Uh, Ellie. Yeah, I, I, I'm... What was that all about? <laughs> well, if I do say so, that was quite a performance. Joanne Woodward. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing down there? You look ridiculous. <laughs> look, Lori, I don't know what you're up to, but I can't go on the hayride with you. I've already got a date. You have a date. Come on, come on, Frank. You want to get a good seat? Oh, it's nice to have a man around the place again. <laughs> well, am I being left alone? Is Lori Brighton being deserted? Well, get yourself a date and come on along. Sure. Your Highness. <laughs> Would you do me a favor? <laughs> what? Come out and sing a song with me like we used to when I was young. <laughs> I'd love to, Grandpa. <laughs> I tell you what, you could use a little more turkey. Yeah, I'll go get it. <laughs> you know, the only trouble is I think you're still a little young for this particular song. You may not quite get the message behind Try it. me. Try me. All right, I will. Why is the little brown bird all a-flutter? Why does his little heart melt like butter? Why does the ladybird say, come here? Then give him the bird when he comes too near. Say a no, 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 but with, with a no, no that sounds like yes. yes. It sounds like you know what I mean. The little pollywog who turned to a frog beseeches his love on the old brown log to come follow him to his home on the boat. She turns around. With a frog in her throat Say no, 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 no With a no that sounds like yes yeah. You've been out with girls Oh, oh the ladies, the ladies Are in a terrible mess Cause they want to say go But they gotta say no With a no that sounds like yes Oh, there are a million examples. Tell me another story about a platypus. <laughs> I love the way you say that. The platypus is a very rare duck, but this is an honor which brings bad luck Cause just when he's ready to pay a call. Mm, they can't find a lady platypus at all. <laughs> no, no, no. With a no, 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 no that sounds like, like yes. <laughs> well, even the poor old armadillo can't take his love back to his villa just when everything's going. Going great. She locks herself in her armor plate. 
please say no, 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 with a no that sounds like I should sing more. Don't be ridiculous, the lady, the They want to say go, but they gotta say no with a no that sounds like yip. <laughs> I know a man who resembles me a Who's man? very, very fond of a girl I see And even though his troubles are just the same uh, She ties him up with the same old line Saying no, no, no With a no that Susie, sounds you like helping him. I'm fired <laughs> <laughs> And though you won't tell me his name I'll bet that his and yours are the same He knows he'll kiss her by and by But she restrains him with a sigh Saying no, no, no With a no Oh, this sounds like yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the lady, the lady, are in the terrible mess. Cause they wanna say go. They gotta say no. <laughs> With a no. We've been having so much fun all week rehearsing. And believe me, those letters of yours don't hurt a bit either. When you write in and say what you particularly like on the show or what you particularly don't like, we appreciate just hearing from you and knowing your likes and dislikes. Incidentally, thanks for the nice things you've been saying about our friend Olga. <laughs> we'll see you again next week, direct from Hollywood for the Plymouth Dealers of America. Until then, once more, it's time to sing that song again. to extend heartiest congratulations to TV Guide magazine on its fifth anniversary this week. Be sure to watch the Lawrence Welk Show, Top Tunes and New Talent, appearing weekly on this same network. The Betty White Show has been selected for viewing by our armed forces overseas. The Betty White Show has been presented by Plymouth, star of the forward look, and the Plymouth Dealers of America. Tom Kennedy speaking. Good night, everybody. This has been an American Broadcasting Television Network presentation.